Now to the developing story in the Middle East. Tonight, Israel pledges to exact a price from Iran over its barrage of drone and missile strikes this weekend. And as CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports, the U.S. is trying to de-escalate tensions. This unprecedented attack is a scenario many have feared since October 7th. Now there's concern this could spiral into a regional war. Following Israel's interception of more than 300 missiles and drones from Iran, the U.N. Security Council met in New York at the request of Israel. Now is the time to defuse and de-escalate. Now is the time for maximum restraint. In the coming days, and in consultation with other member states, the United States will explore additional measures to hold Iran accountable. The president's made it clear we're not looking for a war with Iran. We're not looking for a broader regional conflict. And everything we've been doing since the 7th has been designed to prevent that outcome. Iran accuses Israel of a deadly attack on its embassy in Syria earlier this month. President Biden convened world leaders of the G7. CBS News has learned Biden also told Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that the U.S. would not participate in any offensive operations against Iran. We managed to... Uh... Um, sustain or, or to uh, not be damaged or to have casualties in the way that the Iranian wanted us to have. And that doesn't mean um, that uh, it should not be retaliated by Israel. Iranian-born Benny Sabti works at the Institute for National Security Studies in Israel. Inside the country that hates mostly Israel, 80 percent of them are supporting Israel. This is a very strange thing. U.S. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer spoke with Biden. He and Republican Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell are urging the passage of a bipartisan national security aid package that includes funding for Israel's defense systems. Israel expended uh, about over a billion dollars in, in defending itself and the security supplemental would replenish that kind of aid. Iran's mission to the U.N. says it has no plans for any further attacks and does not plan on engaging in conflict with the U.S. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.